Welcome back once again to the wagon shop here on Main Street in Joliet. We're kind of closing in on this two seat buggy restoration project. I've got just a few little odds and ends to do on these seats, kind of get the finish sanding done. And I'm going to go ahead and finish painting these two seats. I'm going to go ahead and let the paint cure on these seats. I like this paint to cure for about a good week before I handle it too roughly. I'm also going to start the seat cushions at this time. They have a little drop front to them. I have a number of different styles, but I've chosen this one here that's a pretty plain style. doesn't have any buttons in the cushion, and I think it's just the most impervious to weather. So I'm going to use that as my pattern for these seat bases.
Now it's fairly common for buggy seats and carriage seats to have a little drop type of a curtain, we just call it a cushion drop, in front of each seat. So that's what I'm going to do on this seat also, actually both cushions. And I'm going to end up putting a little design on them that will kind of tie in to the striping pattern that is on this buggy.
Well, I have observed over the years that different buggies, different carriages have their own different styles in the whole process and trimming is no different than any of the rest of the process. I didn't have the cushions, so, but I have some old ones around from different projects that I keep around as kind of jog my memory on how some of this was done. We do have the original backs on one of these seats, if you remember back in an earlier video. And I'm going to use that as a pattern for the seat backs, and hopefully we'll get into this next week. So once again, thanks for following on the whole process. Thanks for watching.